Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play This Gaia! Let's head on to the final battle in the alternate netherworld. Warrior mate? Xena? No. no. It is not, well... Eh. Uh, it's an acrobat! A human acrobat. Oh, uh, an evil human acrobat. So she's in charge around here? Well, from what I heard, she's from another Mipanichi game, uh, La Puchel Tactics, which is sort of like the precursor to uh, Diz Gaia. But, uh, yeah, I'm not playing that one. Okay, first things first, uh, let's see, we want to take out our bodyguards. We got uh, these two here. Yeah, they've got a lot of HP. This is why I did all that level grinding there. And then we got Prier herself. Uh, one thing about her is that even though she has some really good equipment to steal, you can't steal them from her. I think it's because she has what's called the clone status, even though she's technically not a clone. But the thing with clones in this game is that you cannot steal from them. At least not directly. So... Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, take her out the old-fashioned way. Uh, as far as stealing goes, I mean, though... Um, yeah, you can't steal from her, even though normally you could. The reason they don't let you steal from enemies, or from clones, is because, well, if you could, that would be pretty abusive. You could just clone an enemy or yourself and then steal from them over and over and over again and, well, item do. And, well, obviously that would be bad. So, uh, hmm. Let's go up here and, oh, uh, defend. Stand pet. And send her out. And stand pat. Okay, that ought to be good. Yeah, take out one, at least one of the bodyguards in the first round. Uh-oh. I forgot. Oh, you can hit both of us? Yes. Reminds me of a boss from Final Fantasy X. Yeah, I heard that that's her character artwork from the game, but, uh, yeah, I wouldn't know much about that. Ow. Quit it. Uh, we're doing okay. Do you have any other moves? Yeah, you got some other stuff. Okay. Well, I'll keep you alive for now. Oh, wait. Uh, not that far. Right about there. Totem crates. Hmm. Some really good Terra Fire. I just don't want to risk wasting any of my turns. Uh, yeah, I could use Spear Storm, but, uh, why don't you get out of the way first, there? What are you weak to, anyway? Win, okay. Oh, right, I already showed you that. Oh, whatever. It's like, why didn't, uh, the attack animation go off? Oh, oh uh, no, no, just a little more. Uh, yeah, you can kill her with a regular attack. Good boy. Cheer up, Krona. Uh, let's see. Good dimension slash. And pass the turn. Okay. Now we pretty much just go all out on Priya herself. Uh-oh. Nice. Maybe I should have spread out my party members a little more. What's that confession? I don't recall seeing that before. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. What are you weak to anyway? Win. Okay. So let's use Terra Wind. Let's get a good... Uh, where are you? Yeah, Inferno. Uh, actually, why don't you go for a good Avalanche, except Etna is not in the way, so that's good. Spread out a little bit. 
And then... Ooh! I got an idea. Let's use Rising Dragon. And then move in. Let's see if I do... Oh, not you. Sorry, I, I got you and uh, Etna mixed up there. I, I couldn't tell the difference. Okay, one more round I ought to get her. This is about the point in the game where the enemies really start getting a lot of uh, HP. So battles, well, they're going to take a while once we start getting to the really big stuff. So, oh, right. Let's get a good Inferno on her. And actually, why don't you go in first, Tiana? Avalanche. And a Calamity Drive. That ought to soften her up a little bit. Not bad. I don't know if I'll be able to kill her this round. Maybe. I'll see what I can do. Uh, let's see. Another good Terra Wind. And a Rising Dragon to bring her in range of Laharl. Yeah, I should be able to get her now. Night Sever. Or not. I usually expect my characters to deal a lot more damage. Uh-oh. Not the Nods guard! Oh, no! Oh, well. Didn't expect her to go nuts like that. You will pay! Your death will be avenged, Nods guard! Ha-ha! <laughs> Got her. I don't know what that super kill bonus is, but for defeating her, we, uh, well, we get more party members with Pre-Air. So that's why we couldn't steal from her, because, well, she was going to join our party. So let's see what we got here. Uh, ooh, nice. Got a good, uh, intelligence boost there. So we got some other pretty good stuff, too. A really nice weapon there. Uh, you know what? Let's save the weapon. I doubt I'll ever use it, but it's there. And for the Arcadia, that's the strongest uh, accessory, or yeah, the strongest emblem in the game there. So there's actually one between Testament and Arcadia, but uh, I just didn't get that. So, I'm trying to think of a Final Fantasy XII reference. Hmm. And yeah, let's just dump the armor there, because I could probably buy that. Okay, well, that's everything for the alternate netherworld. And no dragon in that one. Wish we could fight that guy at his full power. But anyway, let's head on over to Beauty Castle. The one that's unlocked with the mysterious seal there. Like how they bring back the final boss music for this battle. Nice touch. Okay, so let's start with a good... Yeah, Dimension Slash. What are you guys weak to? Hmm. Okay, ice. Fire. Great. We're strong against everything. Oh, let's start with one thing. Go from there. Oops. Let's go with that. And let's have the Nazgard throw Tiana forward. And you go forward with Asteroid Breath. Hmm. Now nah, let's go like that. Okay, got at least one of them. Let's see, can I get a big bang in there? Yes, I can hit both of them. And uh, actually, I could have you use your uh, pretty raid. Still useful even after all these months. Man, this help he's been going by. But uh. Getting towards the end. Now yeah, we still got quite a few things to do. So, this LP is not over yet, viewers. Even though it looks like there's no nothing more for me to do, but trust me, there is. Uh, ooh, I can use Graviton Bomb on you. Uh, hmm, can't get a good, can't get Rising Dragon on Well, let's use that to get you out of the way. Actually, hold on. You do that. And then you do that. Yeah, that ought to work. 
Okay, uh, let's see, one more shout out to do. Oh, they're in a line. You know what that means, viewers. Dimension Slash time! And I think we should have Nazgard do the honors. Since uh, you got killed last time, we're gonna make it up to you. Yeah! Got him. Okay, this one only has two battles in it, oddly enough, but oh, there we go. And this is a very long battle, so I'm not gonna be able to get to it today, but well, I'll show the intro cutscene at least. And we're not gonna have to do some grinding for a while. So, uh, hopefully this will last me for several battles this time around, but well, let's see what's in the beauty of evil. Kind of energy. Uh oh. Large bested woman! My greatest weakness of all! Yeah, against you. Oh. Yeah. I wonder how old she is anyway. I I'm guessing she's from another. Nipponichi game, but, uh, I don't know which one. I think it was, like, uh, that musical one, uh, what is it, one? Uh, some musical game they did. <laughs> Something ridiculous. I don't know. But, uh, well, we can take her. But can we defeat the most malevolent witch in the entire galaxy? Find out next time on Let's Play This Gaia! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!